Garch model on Garch 1.1 model as developed on the Volupta website by Fabrice uh, Rua had the following code and basically we had a maximum likelihood estimation framework which produced the usual omega alpha beta outputs for Garch. We've already estimated this in Visual Studio and we're going to look at here how it works, how it can be implemented on um, an online compiler, GBD. A um, couple of things that are probably relevant here is the, the file that we have here, in order for the estimation to be done, we have to have data. The data file that I have is a text file that was also available in Volupta. So we need to put that in. Okay, so let's go to the online compiler, see how this might work. So we go to online GBD, C++. We take out that snippet of code. We come back into the Garch code as provided by Volupta. Okay, so the entire file is here, so we just go to edit, uh, select all, and copy. And then we come into the online compiler, where we can paste the code in. So we paste. A few small changes we might make here then would involve taking out just three small lines of code that normally just we don't need. So using system namespace, we just take these three lines out. Then they're not required for the estimation. Now, if we run this uh, estimation, we still haven't incorporated in the text file um, S&P 500 text. So to incorporate in the text file, we have to add in the additional file. So let's just try that. Okay, and we'll say S and P 500. Okay, and I delete that out. And I create this new file. It's an empty file. There's absolutely nothing here. And uh, I go to the WordPad. So again, so basically what we have here is um, S and P 500 data, and I think it runs for about five years. So we'll just check in a second. So, okay, that's the full data. Let's just edit and copy that for a moment. Edit, um, select all, edit, copy. And I come back into the S&P 500 file. So I'm just here and I paste that again. And each entry will be associated with a, a number. So these are going up in ones. Okay, so going from one literally all the way up to 1508. Now if I run this it probably still won't work. I just tried there's an issue. Okay so line 15 let's just check line 15 okay so I forgot to take out this namespace properly. Okay so now it's out but even if I run that I still think there are issues and the issue relates to, although it's trying to run, okay, the issue relates to the name of the file. So we had initially here to call in the S&P 500 file. The file actually was a text file in the original um, structure set up by Fabrice Rua, by Volupta. And if I delete out the text file, Right, that the text extension should be no issues. It should estimate. And so I do get some values. Let's have a look at those values. I, I get some values now for the omega, alpha, beta, and looks okay. Okay, so I can compare these values now to what went before. I had a, a previously set out in an Excel file the estimates of 
discard specification. So this basically the data that I have here is the data consistent with um just have a look at that. This is the data consistent with um the S P five hundred. So let's just do a quick check in terms of our our data. Um, we can go into the S P five hundred for a second and we just pull down the Okay, so then the the numbers here, um the starting value is one, two, four, eight and one four five five and we can ch check against excel for a moment okay and we have the same values uh just that here uh the one two four eight twenty nine is the last entry whilst here the first entry is one four five five two two so if we go back to our our data here one we can see here one four five five two two which is the same as our one four five five two two, but it's coming at the beginning here, and this last one is one two four eight two nine. So we can just do that quick check and to verify. We come down, and of course on the Excel I've also split, but the approach that I I used in Excel to estimate one two four eight two nine. One two four eight two nine. So the 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 approach I used here follows in line with John C. Hall. He he outlined the method in his textbook. I'll get you the reference to that textbook. Okay. So there's a few additions, but this is a one of the later additions. Um, option futures other derivatives, and in here you find that there is also, um, there's a chapter on Garch. So, um. Let me see if I can find it. It's one of the, the middle chapters, um, just before or after volatility. Futures, Greeks, volatility smiles, basic procedures, value at risk, credit risk. So I would have thought it was here. Yeah, Garch 1 1 model. So John C. Hull outline, outlines in his textbook a methodology for using. Excel to implement Garch and it's a, an attractive type approach and uh, very intuitive. Uh, we can see here that the estimation that I got here in using Garch, using the solver and so on, um, and that's in a previous video, the estimates that I get here for the Garch, the Omega, Alpha and beta are consistent with the results I had previously. So if I take the results from the online compiler here and just copy, okay, we can observe that these results are exactly the same as the results produced previously in Xcode. Um, and so I'll just paste. Right. So the output I'm getting is the same, alpha, beta, and so on. So the numbers stack up to be the same. O omega, beta is the same here, and alpha is also the same. So that that ability to do in Excel, but also replicate in um, C++ and or Studio it's quite attractive to see that there's a consistency in results. One of the nice features of this online compiler is you can take your source file, implement in the online compiler, and also add in a text file. It's not quite a text file. You can edit, copy, and paste the text file content and set up a new file here. Um, and that will be read in just just the only thing you really need to do here is to change the before this was text s p 500.txt um, we can run that now we can call that in just by calling it s p 500 and that file is there and it all just links up uh, seamlessly so it's a very attractive this online compiler is quite powerful and very very attractive for doing even relatively complicated things in c++ in this instance, estimate the Garch model.